In a previous episode of Tepster's Tips, we delved into the fascinating topic of human migrations out of Africa, examining the various paths taken by humans as they populated different regions of the world. Today, we'll take a closer look at the Q Happel Group and the Western migration route it followed to reach Scandinavia, eventually making its way to the United States. As someone who is tracing my own genetic lineage, I have discovered that my DNA on the Y chromosome belongs to the QL807 haplogroup. The Y chromosome is passed down from fathers to their sons with minimal alterations across generations, except for small traceable changes in DNA. By tracking these changes, scientists have constructed a family tree of humankind, revealing that all male lineages can be traced back into a single common ancestor who lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. This human family tree enables us to explore lineages through time and geographical locations, unveiling both the modern history of our direct paternal surname line and the ancient history of our shared ancestors. If you are interested in exploring other DNA haplogroups and their journeys from Africa to the present day, please leave a comment indicating which ones you would like to see. The ancient path of the parent haplogroups before the emergence of the Q haplogroup originated in Central Africa with haplogroup A. This haplogroup underwent mutations and eventually gave rise to the BT and CT haplogroups, which left Africa around 70,000 years ago. Approximately 60,000 years ago, it further mutated into the F haplogroup on the Arabian Peninsula where 90% of paternal lineages outside of Africa belong to subclades of this haplogroup. While there are several incremental haplogroups between each of these, I will focus only on the major defined haplogroups. The F haplogroup, around 65,000 years ago, mutated into the K haplogroup and moved into southern Iran and the Indian subcontinent, traversing the Persian Gulf before arriving as the P haplogroup in Central and South Asia. The emergence of the Q haplogroup occurred approximately 28,000 years ago in the Altai mountain areas, in what is now present-day Kazakhstan along the Irtish River. The people belonging to this haplogroup were hunter-gatherers who followed reindeers and mammoths for their food. The Q haplogroup then diverged into subclades QL472, QL56, and QL53 over the next 10,000 years, all within the same region, before migrating north and east through Russia and Siberia with the QL54 and the QM1107 subclades. In northern Mongolia and Siberia, the QM930 subclade emerged and the Q lineages separated. One branch headed east toward America, while the other ventured west toward Scandinavia eventually becoming the QL804 subclade around 2,000 years ago. For the purpose of this video, we will follow the western branch into Scandinavia, as my own Y haplogroup is QL807, which arrived in America from this direction. The QL804 Y DNA became part of the Viking and Danish population. During the 8th, 9th, and 10th century, Vikings from Norway set sail in their longboats to Iceland, Ireland, England, and France, carrying with them the QL804 DNA as they searched for new lands to settle and farm. In 902 AD, a group of Vikings from Norway made their way to the rural peninsula, which is situated in the present-day location of Liverpool, England. This Viking expedition is believed to be the primary means through which the Q L804 haplogroup found its way to England. The Vikings discovered the sparsely populated area to be relatively easy to dominate, where they initially established a fishing village that eventually grew into a thriving settlement. Over time, the QL804 DNA flourished in the region until it underwent a further mutation, giving rise to the QL807 haplogroup. Fast forward to the year 1682 when Thomas Pearson, seeking refuge from the persecution faced by Quakers in England, decided to leave Wimslow, a small farming community located just south of Manchester, England. Pearson sailed on a journey across the Atlantic Ocean, arriving in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
It was in this new land that William Penn had designated the lands for the Quakers, envisioning a utopia free from English persecution. The journey of my haplogroup QL807 to reach America has indeed been a long one. Looking ahead, it is intriguing to contemplate where its path will lead in the future. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like it, please remember to like and subscribe.